Plastic surgery, Botox, laser treatments, they are all becoming much more common. Some people are hoping to turn back the hands of time, so they're going back again and again. And KHOU 11 is reporter Lee Felici also learned many of the patients are getting younger and younger. Hair, makeup, and nails. Hey, we all want to look good. I guess I get my hair done, and that's about it. But what is good? Botox and other cosmetic things are, are my friends. In the pursuit of youth and beauty, multiple nips and tucks are popular. In fact, repeat patient business was up 13% last year, according to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Sharon, hi, good morning, how are you? Sharon Frank has had at least seven procedures over the years. And so the eyes are looking nice, nose is looking good. And she's back for more. To get rid of the sunspots and to pull this gently. Just a little bit of working through there. And that. Frank likes plastic surgery. I would recommend it if you want to grow old gracefully and pretty, and if you don't, so be it either. But it's not just about aging gracefully anymore. Hi, I'm Whitney. Because the patients are getting younger, like 23-year-old Whitney Watley, a big, rich Texas cast member. Everything's better bigger. That's why she told the syndicated show the doctor she wants implants and plumper lips. What this family is, and it's not their fault at all, is a product of a highly sexualized culture that we live in right now, that's sending a message to young girls that your value you is only in your beauty girl. Michael Jackson, Heidi Montag, and the plastic surgeries of countless other celebrities have been well documented. But is there such a thing as too much? I think the people that can't stop have a shame have a shame. They are ashamed. They're trying to fix their shame through plastic surgery. So they will change the outside without changing the inside. Yet, Dr. Franklin Rose says making people look good can actually help with that internal work. If you're able to continually make patients prettier and happier with their self-image and self-esteem, you can do multiple procedures on, on patients. And the pursuit of that kind of beauty can be expensive. Take Ella Nolan from the bachelor pad. Dr. Rose did five procedures on her in one day. Nose job, breast implants, liposuction, and hospital fees. The grand total, more than twenty thousand dollars. I think it's a it's it's a it's the most fabulous investment a patient can make. Who wouldn't want to look better? Do you see a chin implant here? Oh, I don't think you need any chin implant. Make sure your plastic surgeon is experienced. Listen to advice, but also know no amount of filler can fix a deep-seated wrinkle of discontent. Lee for Lisey, KHOU, 11 News.